What is the best protective screen cover or screen protection for this, the Sony ZV-1? I can't say Sony Z, that's probably why it's called the ZV-1 in this country, but it's the Sony ZV-1. I wanna protect this screen, it's only a couple of days old. Oh, by the way, I'm filming this on my Osmo Pocket. Oh, should I film it? By the way, I'm filming this on my DJI Osmo Pocket and I put protective tempered glass onto this camera and also onto my GoPro Hero 5. So I'm a big fan of the tempered glass protective screens. But which is the best one for the ZV-1? There are so many on Amazon. It's difficult to know where you even start. I'm gonna show you which screen cover I bought and I'm gonna fit it to this in real time and show you how I apply it to the screen by actually doing it on camera. So if I make any mistakes, you'll be able to hopefully avoid those. And when we've put the tempered glass screen protector on, I'm gonna show you this. I think it's the best case for the Zony Sony, Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1. I, I will show you how good this is for this. Oh, by the way, my name's Neil. Thanks for clicking on this video. I made a whole playlist about my Sony ZV-1 videos that's up on screen now and in the description. And also the links to this camera and this screen are down in the description. But let's go into the hut and put this on this. This is the screen protector I went for. It's the Max Hood ZV-1 screen protector, tempered glass, anti-fingerprint, anti-bubble. What I'll also do is after I've shown you how I've put this screen protector onto the monitor, I'm gonna show you how it fits in this case. I think this is the best case that I've found for the ZV-1 so far. We have a patch installation cleaning kit times two. That's nice. Usually they're just loose in the box and the precious tempered glass screens. They are gonna go onto, whoa, they're going to go on the monitor screen here. The two concerns that you might have are if you put a tempered glass screen protector onto the monitor, will it close properly and flush afterwards? And the second concern is, does it affect the operation of the touch screen? Uh, it's very responsive. And there is a worry, will the tempered glass screen make it less responsive? So we'll have a look at that. Now, if you've never done this before, the first tip is to not do what I'm doing and do it in a hut in the garden where there's lots of dust and pollen. <laughs> the best place to do this is actually in your bathroom because it's the place with the least dust in your house. And also they say that the running water, if you run a tap, that sends out lots of negative ions that kind of make dust particles not want to float in the air. But inside this cleaning kit, which is quite snazzy, isn't it? And we'll just clean the screen here. Then next there is a nice small microfiber cloth to dry it. So this will take off any residue that is on your screen already. And then finally, you get this sticker set. We'll take off the big one. You can use this to dab the screen just to remove any dust particles that might be there. So then we'll get the screen out of the protective foam envelope. This is tempered glass. Now go for tempered glass because it's so rigid. If you use plastic film, that's the other option for protective screens. And I just find they scratch really easily. Also, when you're laying it down, it's very difficult to have bubbles appear because it's so rigid. So that's good. This sticker is supposed to lift the protective film off and it hasn't. Let's try again. There we go. So the adhesive is on this side under the film. So it goes this way down. I should have practiced this. I'll, I'll wing it. So we'll lay it down. It fits really snugly, that's good. And there you go, it just lays down like that. So that's the first mistake you can learn from. Lay it down on the screen just so you can see how much gap you need around the edge, but that looks, that looks really nice, there's no bubbles. So I don't know if you can see, but the screen fits really snugly into the monitor, the edges of the monitor. So I've already got some fingerprints from my hand, but that looks great. There are no bubbles at all because it's rigid tempered glass. I much prefer it to plastic film. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. And I'm, oh my goodness, I'm just delighted that it's now got a bit more protection if it takes a, a fall. I think in time, I want to buy a lens adapter ring 
just to protect this if it ever gets dropped or banged. Now let me show you this case. I think this case is the best case for the Sony ZV-1. It's from Lowepro. There's a, a link in the description. Did I see a stray? There is a stray strand there. But apart from that, it's a really lovely case. It's got an outside pocket that's lined and it has a zipper that goes halfway round and a quarter way on the other side. You could fit this through your belt if you want to channel your inner Casey Neistat. And inside, I'll try and open it up, there's a big label you could take off. But this is foam padded and there's quite a generous foam padding on this side as well. But in terms of size, I'll put it in this way round. It fits absolutely perfectly. You might prefer a hard case, but I, I, I really prefer the, the soft cases. I just want something to just give it a bit of a cushion if it were to fall. Let's test the screen protector now for closing and opening the, the monitor door. So one of the concerns is that having a raised surface might affect the door operation, but I can't see that at all. Look, it is not affecting it at all. In fact, I can see through there. I don't know if you can see the little lights down there. So there's still clearance between the edge of the monitor door and the back of the camera. So the tempered glass protective screen is so thin that it really does not affect opening and closing at all. So that's a relief. And then the other concern is, does the tempered glass protective glass screen affect the touchscreen operation? The touchscreen still works. You have to use a bit more of a the pad of your finger, but it seems to be picking up just as accurately. But like I say, there's a little disclaimer there. If you, you do tap it really lightly, nothing happens. Oh no, it's, it's, it's working even with light taps. <laughs> From my experience, this feels pretty much, if not identical to when there was no screen protector on the monitor. My Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 screen is now completely protected absolutely delighted with that let me know how you're getting on with the camera i've only had mine for about four days and i've just been terrified that the screen isn't protected <laughs> so now i can go out and shoot some more stuff so i've got the link to my sony playlist up on screen now i'm moving sideways so i can put some videos up if anyone reaches this point of the video you're awesome <laughs> just say hi it'd be great to hear from you and if you hit the thumbs up it helps other people to find this video if you hit the subscribe button you're even more awesome because that helps take me closer to the cherished 10,000 subscriber goal that i never think is going to to happen and good luck with your Sony ZV-1. 